Hello, this is Leach83, how we doing? Welcome to just a little update here on the Celtic Road to European Cup um, in career mode FIFA 16. I'll need to try and shorten that and draw it's fucking brutal. But anyway, um, what this basically is is just a little update to show you where we are. A pre-season tournament has just been finished, um, so from that we're able to get ourselves an extra 1.8 million um, as added to our transfer budget. Um, because we were able to win that. Um, we have signed Martin Odegaard on loan from Real Madrid and we have also signed Marvin Emnes from Swansea City. He cost just over a million to get him um, as a striker. So this is how our team looks just now then. We've moved it to a 4 2 formation rather than the 4 2 3 1 formation. So it's just kind of changed a little bit with Griffiths and Chifty up front. Johansson and Mackay Steven as our attacking mids. Beaton and Brown as our holding midfielders and then we've got Izzagiri Boyata, Duffy, Yanko and Craig Gordon finishing off the team. Um, the substitute bench is not as strong as I would like it to be. We've got Commons, Armstrong, Odegaard, Emnes, Bailey, Tierney and Blackett. Now, um, young Kieran Tierney has got a lot of potential in the game so that's why he's there. I'm going to have him doing... Um, as many training things as I can to get his rating put up because he does have a lot of potential so that's why he's there and he will be getting used in the team and he will be a permanent replacement for Izagiri in time. Um, in regards of the rest, most of them are just cover. However, the youth players like uh, Kelly, um, Miller, McCart, Thompson and Mako Duff can go out and loan whenever the opportunity comes. Uh, Roger and Forrester cover and Effie Ambrose is transfer listed. Uh, Charlie Mulgrew and Anthony Stokes will be transfer listed as well. And um, from that, we'll then need to use the money that we do have to bring in a bit more cover. I still like to get another striker in, um, another midfielder who's a little bit more versatile, and obviously cover for the defence as well. So, three more signings if we can do in the rest of the pre season. Now, I don't want to kind of bore you, Steph by doing all of that because it is quite a tedious process and it does take a bit of time so we're currently at the 26th of July we are start of our season is the 8th of August so I'll fast forward to then I'll do the two weeks off recording I will then bring the next video which will start hopefully um, with an introduction to the team after we've done some deals and then we'll do the Hearts game and the Partick Thistle game will probably be in the first episode we may even stretch to get the Motherwell game in as well um, because I don't want it to be too long a season and um, too long a kind of journey. So maybe be able to fit the three games in the one episode and then we'll do two in the end of the transfer window or probably just the two games in that to finish off August in the next one. But that's a bit further on, so we'll see how it goes. But this, the point of this video was just to kind of give you an update because I'm aware it's been a bit of time since this was uploaded, so apologies that it's not been uploaded um, in about a week or so, maybe even longer than that. Um, but that's me back at it now, so hopefully you'll be able to get a regular update of this. Um, and if it's still something you're interested in, then please continue your support, smash the likes, and subscribe if you don't already. And as I say, I'll bring the start of the season to you as soon as possible. Thank you. Bye-bye.